Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,269.79. In the past year I am up $26,514.39. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $8,860.86. Today was a red day for me. I lost $413.18 during the day. After hours, I am up $446.21. So I broke even pretty much. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, I am down $414. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, I am down $380. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, $804. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return, $726. I'm selling Amazon, $210 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return, I am down $324. I'm selling PayPal, $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return, $104. I'm selling Disney, $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return, $180. I'm selling McDonald's, $210, $200 put credit spreads. Expiration date is December 20th. My total return, $20. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $199.65. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $30,214.44. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.39. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,600.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $97.14. My average cost, $60. My total return, $11,000. $142. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.65. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $5,125. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $189.10. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,662.22. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.13. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $285.98. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $73.03. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, I am down $1,023.50. This is a margin account. 
my margin total is $106,324.61. My margin used is $88,337.22. And my options collateral is $10,000. This gives me $7,987.39 in buying power. For my margin status is low risk. My buffer is $40,969.81. This is how much more money I can lose before getting margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $17.71. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So a couple of things that changed in my portfolio recently. So today I actually got rid of my LUV position. That was Southwest Airlines. So Southwest Airlines had a slightly green day today, went up like half a percent. But as you can see, if we go to my history, where is it? Here we go. Yeah. Southwest Airlines market sell. So 500 shares at $27.43. This is what I sold it for today. So I sold my 500 shares of Southwest, sorry, Southwest Airlines at $27.43 per share. Um, so I freed that money up and I used it to buy something else. And let me show you what I bought after selling my Southwest Airlines position. I have a McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. So this is a new position that I just opened today. And basically in order to gain max profit from this, McDonald's has to stay above $210 per share. Now this expires at the end of the year, December 20th. I picked an expiration date that's further out. And Total return, I only made $20 so far. However, the average credit is 95 cents um, per spread. So since I have 10 and each spread applies to 100 shares, if we do the math, it's about $950 max profit. Um, but that's not going to happen until later in the year in December after this expires if McDonald's is actually above $210 per share then I'll get my max profit of $950 from these spreads but right now it's just barely started today so nothing really drastic yet right now McDonald's is at $245.99 cents so as long as it stays above $210 per share, I'm going to get my max profit of $950, but we'll see what happens. Now, if it goes below $200 per share, then I'm going to lose everything um, that I invested in these spreads. So basically, that's kind of what these numbers mean because I chose the $210 and the $200, um, you know, to, for my put credit spreads. Max profit will be at above $210. Max loss will be at $200. <laughs> so uh, as long as it stays above these prices anyways, it's not going to be something I have to worry about. But things have happened before where, you know, I didn't think it was going to go that low, but the stock that I had spreads on, it actually went below the numbers and then uh, I lost a lot of money. But uh, hopefully McDonald's does well. I believe they're reporting soon. Let's see when they report. So McDonald's, their earnings dates. When is it? Available July 29th, pre-market. So hopefully they do well on July 29th when they report and the stock price goes even further up. So I don't have to worry so much, but we'll see. But yeah, that's the new position that I opened today my McDonald's uh, put credit spread. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have to report for today. I'll keep on making more updates in the future. So if you, 
you know, if you guys want to keep on seeing more of these updates, you want to see what's in my portfolio, what the returns are, just uh, like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more of this content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.